Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Faust, Faust, Faust. Let the Lingus Mafia know the show is starting at 8. Okay, back with you. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, uh-huh. They said everyone has to bring a date. Who says I need to lose weight? They say we're supposed to hydrate. I think they said meet us at the gate. We're going to Chief's gate. I have to bake a cake? What kind of cake? Mmm, cake. Ah, I don't want to go to Kuwait. Hey boss, Tensai's here to check your prostate. The biggest night on the internet just got bigger. The Lingus is now three hours every Tuesday starting at 8. Not really, we just needed to say 8 to steal their bit. YouTube, Lingus Mafia, welcome. Man, fuck going to Kuwait. I'm not even on the show anymore. Yep, again, it's the Wrestlinga Show, and you know what this is, that's a meat twitcher board. Every week, we have the hottest chick in pro wrestling for the week, how she looked, hot, everything sexy, what I asked, the titty, whoever looked the best gets to be the pound meat twitcher of the week. So when you're on Twitter, do pound meat twitcher and submit your vote. So here is who you all voted for this week, here's the meat twitcher. Okay, we had Velvet Sky. Look at her coming oh back strong, God. looking good. It wasn't good. close this week. Yeah, almost like the Ravens and Niners score wasn't close right. for a little while. For a little while. Oh, it's a fun day. Goosecox laughing his ass off. Whatever. Fuck and you know, if they would have put out Smith in, maybe they would have had maybe. a better chance. Maybe. I don't uh, go to Probably the Probably not. Yeah, so. All right, we'll go uh, this week. You want to go football style? You want to go out? You know what? Fuck it. We'll go football style. All right. I got my shit. Since I have a Super Bowl loss to go with your Super Bowl loss. Never mind that. I got the best team of all time into this, so uh, I'll take see. my five over your one. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Hit me deep. All right. Go deep. Hit me balls deep. Whoa. Oh, deeper. Which you said. Woo! Exactly. All right. I fucking spiked the pen. You didn't bring it back? Shit! We got another one? There you go. Cap off. And uh, we got Velvet with a nice three spot. Yeah, that'll work. That'll do what we gotta do. So, on to the show. We got a lot to complain. Rip. Kill. Whatever we wanna do. <laughs> So, here we go, on with the show. Watch the show. It's the Wrestlingus Show, Pound Lingus Mafia. I'm Pretty Boy Cav Manning. That's Faust on the couch, Fausty Walnuts. It dawned on me. You said you got that nickname from a, a dude gave you that nickname? I mean, I don't know. I mean, if he... I don't know if he's really a man or not, but... There is a penis, so I guess it's a, a guy, but yeah. It's... Another guy calling a guy a pretty boy and thinking it's an insult? That's the best part about it. Well, what are you going to do when you're ugly, right? So, anyway, uh, it is February 5th, 2013, and we have, of course, our Tensai watch is now at 43 weeks. Interesting. Apparently, mm -hmm. uh, on the house shows, he's working as a good guy now doing the dancing gimmick. So. Which... Yeah, they're keeping him around for a while. I mean, we had Tensai on our commercial in the beginning. Oh, yeah, he looked fabulous. <laughs> Great. And uh, we have the Pound Raw 3-Hour Watch. Which ain't going nowhere. Is at 29 weeks, and it'll be gone after, what, WrestleMania? Let's like we hope. Said, right? yeah, it's, it's rough. It is rough. People are falling asleep before uh, it's over. I hope it still comes on at, at 5 locally, 8, it East Coast, whatever. I can't imagine that it does. It would be nice if it was early and then you're done. Yeah. But you're screwed. You I'm can't watch screwed. East Coast feed anymore. Fuck. And, uh, hey, this week, how long is the sale for from Zazzle? We didn't even talk uh, about it. There's a Zazzle sale. It might sale. have been la uh, last night only. <laughs> well, go check out Zazzle.com slash Wrestlingus, 
And uh, what you can always do is you can go on like Retail Me Not, or you can just do a Google search for Zazzle coupons, and something comes up. There's always free shipping and all that. Yeah, stuff. there was forty percent off the other day when you put what we all win sale something as the code. Like that. Yeah, it was and, just uh, on T-shirts. You can get a shirt. Just like me, I'm ordering shirts. You're ordering shirts. It's fabulous. It does look fabulous. It was a good designer, mm. and an even hotter chick that goes with the shirt. Mm. So, nonetheless, uh, so we have that out of the way, and let's get to raw this week. Which uh, Booker T with a live microphone? Oh boy! Run for your life in the first place. <laughs> That's hard to say in the first it place, is. and for him, it it's is. even worse. Did Punk ask him, "Are you drunk?" He did later. <laughs> yeah, at first he was trying to help him by saying, "No one wants to hear yeah. from you." Uh, that happened. Um, and this WWE active uh, that we were screaming about earlier uh, is bullshit. And they even said, oh, it blew out the yeah. system. Like it's a Super Bowl and the lights are going out. Uh, shield style over here. They, the shield <laughs> attacked the active to help Punk out, right? Yeah, exactly. Mark just, Henry came back. Oh, yeah. sorry to cut you off. Oh, no, I was just going to make a comment about the shield showing up at the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, they didn't quite help you out, though. Yeah. They got you close, yeah. but uh, there was a kick out at three. Um... So Mark Henry came back, which I've been waiting for him to come back in for the longest time. You know, nobody cared about him. When yeah. he was a champ in a destruction machine, he was mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. I enjoyed it. And uh, so now he came in. So I guess he's going to have problems with Mysterio and Kara. Mm -hmm. That's going to be uh, go to Mania. <laughs> I don't know what he do. he, he, Are they going to be in the chamber? <sighs> Henry's a former champ. He's got a hot yeah. one in the chamber. <laughs> um, here's a big one. There is no title up for grabs in the Elimination Chamber. Holy smokey. Yeah, we get a number one contenders match and that's it. Not even a second chamber Because that's match. where do you go after the Rumble and the guy doesn't win to that's have that problem. belt. You yeah. need a guy. So uh, hopefully they will just unify these belts mm -hmm. soon enough. I hope after Mania it happens because the draft will be gone now too. Either that's that or sense. just get rid of the, the pay-per-view. Yeah, I mean that's a good pay-per-view. They something. should put it with another... A different pay-per-view then? It's rough having the chamber in between Rumble and Mania. It's too big of a... Yeah. It's a huge. It could almost be Just a WrestleMania main, main event. Right. I love when they go, here's one of the main events for WrestleMania. This yeah, one like, of them. <laughs> it's called Main. It's not Main's event yeah. like the cat would call it. <laughs> you called the Main's event? Well, shit. Um, Del Rio showing up at Big Show's hotel room to beat the piss out of him was pretty fun and entertaining. Yeah. That's always entertaining when... It's on location like Booker T and Stone Cold at the grocery right. store. That's always it's something good. different. Yeah. It's, always, yeah, it's always good. Exactly. And uh, to finish out the show, we had The Shield getting beat up. Yeah, uh, and kinda. Escaping. I kind of. I like how they did it, though, because they did it with... They were cornered for the first time right. they got shit flipped. Meanwhile, Sheamus is from here, Ryback's from here, Cena's from here. The ramp gets closed. Go to the TV, route. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just like... <laughs> Just like Maddox when he's trapped in the ring. Yeah. There's a fourth side of the ring you can sit yeah. down on. <laughs> yeah, there is. He's, he can't get away. The ropes are in the way. Yeah. So Maddox is uh, now calling him out. I just love Maddox. He's, he's so great. Yeah. I do he's enjoy him. He's pretty good. It'll, it might take a while. His we'll facial see. things are funny. When he's mm -hmm. yelling at Cena, he's like looking for Cena to come yeah. out almost. You know, okay. And he calls the shield out and wants his due. And then I thought Cena was going to help him. And then he would turn on Cena right. and be like, yeah, I had to take a beating to get to you or some bullshit like this. But, right. I mean, they got to do something with Maddox soon enough. Yeah. So, um, so I guess it's going to be Elimination Chamber. It's going to be a, a six-man. Mm -hmm. I would assume. Speaking of, we got another return, Swagger. Swagger comes out with his flock of seagulls hairdo. And did you notice he cut it? From uh, last week, from from SmackDown <laughs> yeah. to this, uh -huh. completely cut <laughs> that hairdo. Thank God. I like that they try to reinvent someone. They say, "Just grow your hair a little longer, grow a beard." Yeah, that's the difference. When he was on SmackDown, I'm like, "It's the same guy, same red, white, and blue trunks." Everything's exactly same. At least on Raw, was all black. And at least he's he's uh, got a little more intensity to him. That's what they pretty much that's, just say: yeah. turn up the heat. And yeah. I'm glad because Swagger's good, and yeah. it's like. It's the lisp that yeah, really that holds sucks. him back. It's it doesn't scare anyone. I mean, he could be he could kill everybody, yeah, but you're never gonna be afraid. Like Cody Rhodes has gotten past it. First Cody Rhodes. Yeah, yeah, you don't notice yeah, anymore, really. Now you don't notice. Yeah. It's like his talent kind of almost overdid mm -hmm. it, and his personality and everything with his now his mustache T-shirt that he wears. <laughs> That's pretty fucking. Yeah, funny. and I tweeted yesterday: this poor bastard's going the route of Rico and Kane. He's pounds, no eyebrows. 
and mutton chops. He's, just, he's gonna be stuck with it. He's now. gonna be stuck with this mustache. Who knows? He might like it. Oh my god, <laughs> the Key West butt tickler, as they call that thing. <laughs> so anyway, there is your WWE report. This week we're not going to do a remember when because last week, as you see, we got quote unquote twenty five views for screaming and yelling about the WWE, which Bullshit. something is up because we would watch it from another computer and it would never register mm -hmm. the watch. So we have this certain amount of subscribers. It's more than 25. Yeah, we're up to 50, 50 something. something. Yeah, so uh, we're not buying that. So we're almost thinking that something's up with being blocked mm -hmm. by something because we caused the stink. And if you notice, we said this earlier, that commercial that they took uh, from us was not played nope. since Monday. Not on SmackDown? Not it on hasn't all, been. Right. It's the power of the Lingus Mafia. Yeah, it is. All of you people attacking them because of this, the power has been heard. Lingus Mafia, mofos. Lingus Mafia. So anyway, we'll go right into this uh, TNA report. Impact report. Thank you. All right. This time they went overseas. They went to uh, England. I almost said New England. <laughs> All the way to New England, which for TNA would be far. <laughs> yes, that's overseas to, New England, to, to whatever their name is, TNA. Impact. Thank you. So they go over there. It is the world of difference. Oh, yeah. In front of a crowd, you can big have... crowd, too. It's not like it was in a small arena. No. I like how they had the thing going around that had the name of whoever was coming out yeah. around the lights. I thought it was funny. At first, they didn't show the stage. Like, the yeah. first half at first half of the show, it seemed like everybody that come out, it was the camera view from behind. I'm like, where's the stage? Like, I, don't, I was almost where they didn't have one. The one thing I don't like is the ramp that goes on yeah. the ring. That bothers me. It's always bothered oh, me. Good. And uh, they had that going on, but... Listen, if that's the worst that's happening now, because mm -hmm. they've announced they're going on the road. Yeah. Which is, thank God. We've been saying that. We've been always talking about Screaming. Dead, dead crowds in Orlando. That, I believe that will help the show mm -hmm. so much, even if it's the same exact product. Yeah. It's crowds, even if it's here, I would mm -hmm. go to it. Yeah. And you'd be more saying, excited because you're seeing something I was actually new. going online. I'm like, oh, maybe they got tour days. I want to see if they're coming around here. Mm. So what they're doing... Usually I, it's always East Coast they stay, yeah. right? Well, they're doing... Um, Old school raw. They're taping one week live, and then oh really? Doing I'm that. not sure if it's the next day or immediately after that show. They're taping the following week. Okay. At least it's not in the same spot where they go. Okay, here's the second four hour. You know, yeah. it's that was always killer when we would go. Mm -hmm. They would do the day after the pay per view all the way up to the next mm -hmm. pay per view. Four shows, and yeah. every, the crowd by that fourth show is it's sleeping. Dead. It's yeah. complete. And that was when it was only one hour. You imagine right. when it's two hours? Oh, God. You'd be there the rest of your life. You'd be getting out. Okay, it's two in the morning. I might as well stay up and go to work. Um, which brings us to the fact that um, they're traveling now and everyone else can see them. They're still having the aces and eights job out. <laughs> Coming out from the side, but Anderson's using his old music still. You know, and that brings me to I feel bad for Anderson. Because now that he's with them, he has to dress a certain way to yeah, wrestle? Now he has to wrestle. <laughs> oh my god, this poor fuck. He's got to wrestle now in jeans yeah. and a shirt, and he wears the vest still. <laughs> you can't oh, take it off. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, the only guy wearing the vest. Um, and we had Austin Aries. Mm -hmm. I'll get back to this Aces and Aids because yeah. we've got another topic with them. But we had Aries beating Chavo mm -hmm. to get a number one contender shot for the tag belts. With Rude. Mm -hmm. So we all already know, spoiler alert, mm -hmm. that they won the tag belts over in England. Yeah. So we're all sitting waiting for <laughs> later in the show what's going to happen. I do not know how you have something that everyone's going to find out anyway mm -hmm. and drag it out for two yeah. weeks. So I was waiting in for two it. Days, I'm like, oh, okay, this is the night they win the belts. Yeah. Like, where is it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So later, I guess uh, this week and on Thursday, we will see them win the belts unless they swerve us and have... Now, it has to be Hernandez versus Rude right. to get it, but I assume no. Aries did it, and they're yeah. getting their championship, and so we will see them win it. Mm -hmm. um, that's always fun. I think they'll be a great tag team to watch, and like uh, they'll take over from the Kane and Daniel thing, which they'll be breaking up with soon. Yeah. You know? uh, and on back to the Aces and Eights, our final thought about that is that now they have finally the shocking reveal... Oh, boy. That we've all known for a hundred years. and saying for a while. Yeah. That it's uh, Briscoe and 
young Bischoff, which, yeah. and we've also said the old mm-hmm. Bischoff is the boss, which we've only seen once, and they took him away quickly. Yeah. So I'm kind of thinking, oh shit, they, they're they, changing they know, mind. well, I'm thinking they know they blew it. Yeah. With the voice. Mm-hmm. So they got rid of it, maybe. Um, but it makes sense now with Eric's son in it that they're reunited again and, oh, yeah. good boy, and, you know, right. oh, I would never leave my father's stuff. So I don't like how they did the reveal. Mm-hmm. It was the goofiest. Th- I want them to, I mean, we cry about them being jobbers. Yeah. But they should have done a jumping in thing and had them yanked off again like they always get their right. mask ripped off. This time he reveals himself, which... We've always seen in their meetings yeah, them the screaming is, about don't, don't lose your mask. So and they voluntarily they voluntarily do it. And the thing is, some people are morons mm-hmm. about no which one was uh, Briscoe. Yeah. So he took his hair out first, <laughs> so we know. Yeah, and I'm like, he should have been wearing his little thing, you know, his uh-huh. whole outfit, you know, which is more of a reveal than then you take it off. So I guess we'll see him this week come out, ding, 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 right. wearing his stupid jacket. <laughs> And his little flannel shirt underneath there. So our last four mask reveals are these two, Taz, Knox. You know what I mean? Like, are we going somewhere? I mean, there is no monster. I mean, at this rate, who are we going to get next? Like, Kevin Storm. uh, What was his name? Kevin (laughs) Storm. Kevin Storm. James? Kevin uh, Thorn. Oh, Kevin Thorn. (laughs) I'm going to say Kevin Thorn and, like, uh, Jesse Neal or whatever the fuck that guy's name. Oh it's just boy! Like, too, like, guys who cares, yeah, you know? it's gotta be. It's gotta be a monster. It has to be an absolute monster. Who, of that's name. the problem. Is who who is gonna at this point by having the mask, you eventually gonna have one big reveal. But who can they get? I think they missed the boat on since Anderson's there. Yeah, he might as well have been a reveal because he's their biggest name in there. And he should have been. I still think Morgan should have been one. Yeah, Morgan should have been. That would have been. And he came back and everything. Right. It was a perfect now, opportunity. It would have been the one monster in the group, yeah, right? But now it's like, now who are you going to get? Are you going to get Batista? Are you going to get somebody like... If they got Batista, it would well, be a yeah, monster. That would be huge. I don't see him coming. No. Are you going to get Morrison? Like, what, who, that Morrison's be probably the guy? biggest they'd have then, too. It, and it'd be funny to see him try to fit into that group. Yeah, doing, his, just, doing <laughs> exactly. that, right? Yeah, and total different personality mm-hmm. from it, right? But Well, anyway, that's all we got this week for you. Uh, on to the plugs. You want to check out this podcast that we always uh, go to uh, because I'm on the show every once in a while mm-hmm. and uh, I think you should be on the show one of these days too. One of these days. Yeah. But you would go to umfjtb.podbean.com or go to iTunes and just type in JTB. It will pop on. Yeah. And you can find it and just stick it out if you have an iPhone. Mm-hmm. As they were showing on the iPhone, maybe we should do it. Look, you click here and you move <laughs> over. But this actually works. So what you do is... uh my phone. Just get the yeah. Just get the uh, old uh, podcast on there, the whole thing, and uh, old Gwen T. Lamb calling you over here. No. Okay. And so you'll do that. You'll get the show, and you also want to follow on Twitter mm-hmm. is at Curtain Jerks. Yeah. So that's another one. You also want to follow on Twitter a couple of other Lingus people actually. You can follow at Muffy Sweet, and you can also follow at. 408 monster for the cat. All he does is retweet pictures of ass. <laughs> it's That's amazing. all he does. Anytime I go through my timeline, exactly. I see big ass, gotta check out, and I just see <laughs> retweeted by the cat. Yes. <laughs> Anytime I go, I go, I don't know this name, and I look at the bottom, and it's retweeted by 408 monster, the cat. I was so. just gonna say, also, the curtain jerks you can find on iTunes, too. I got okay. Subscribe. You probably can't see it, but. Hey, this is HD, whatever. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, so you want to check them all, all out, uh, you can just go to iTunes, type in Curtain Jerks, or type in JTB, and you'll find both of those shows, and uh, check out their stuff. They're fans of ours. They're uh, And we're fans of them. Thank you. They're uh, subsidiaries of um, the Lingus Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> Easy enough for me to say, folks. Mm-hmm. So, that's it. Thanks to the whole Lingus Mafia who put in for this bit this week. We got all of them in there. Even my grandmother. My 91-year-old grandmother is in there baking a cake. So, what kind of cake? (laughs) We don't know. So, anyway, we'll see you guys next week. Go to the store and buy the shirts. Later.